Thanks for watching series of video lecture on theorems. I have started with superposition theorem in row and one numerical in previous lecture. In this lecture, I will explain you generalized method to solve superposition problem when both sources are voltage source. Given problem statement, circuit diagram shows two voltage source and we want to find current flowing from R3. Whenever you read problem statement, first observe the polarities of sources. So we will start to solve this problem. Given problem statement, circuit diagram shows two voltage source and we want to find current flowing from R3. Whenever you read problem statement, first observe the polarities of sources. So we will start to solve this problem. As already explained, first step is to remove or deactivate one voltage source and find current flowing from R3. After removing E2, find total circuit current. R2 and R3 are parallel to each other and R1 in series with this. That's why total resistance of circuit looking from E1 is R1 plus R2 parallel R3. Total circuit current is I is equal to E1 divided by R1 plus R2 parallel R3. Problem statement is to find current from R3. Using current divider rule, we can find I1 current flowing from R3. So I1 is equal to R2 divided by R2 plus R3 into I. Second step, remove voltage source E1 and find current flowing from R3. After removing E1, find total circuit current. R1 and R3 are in parallel to each other and R2 in series with this. That's why total resistance of circuit looking from E2 is R2 plus R1 parallel R3. Total circuit current is I is equal to E2 divided by R2 plus R1 parallel R3. Given problem statement is to find current from R3. Using current divider rule, we can find I1 dash current flowing from R3. So I1 dash is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 into I. Now, last step, find total current. Current direction for both sources is same. That's why total current from R3 resistor is equal to I1 plus I1 dash. If same problem statement polarity is changed as shown in figure, current direction is changed. It's opposite to each other. Blue color arrow shows resulting current direction because of E1 and red arrow shows resulting current direction because of E2. That's why total current from R3 resistor is now became I1 minus I1 dash. Don't forget to watch my next video lecture to understand how to solve numerical. Thank you.